my god, and we're back again with, uh, well, what is essentially the best news show on YouTube. Wouldn't you agree? My damn cat is an evil genius. He got my wife pregnant. I mean... Let's read more! The couple had planned to wait two years to have another baby after a difficult first pregnancy, but their cat had other plans. Well, I mean, the picture says it all. I mean, what else do you want to see apart from a, a ginger cat? Evil. Not as evil as the typical black cat, but that ain't racist either. And uh, it's got its paw over a candle. Fantastic. I think, uh, I think this is going to get spicy. I'm not talking about the candle. A man has shared the strange way his wife got pregnant. And it involves a cat. Shane Dawson? <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. Nah. Anyway. The couple welcomed their first child last year. But she had a difficult pregnancy which saw her her on bed rest for several weeks. Their son was born two months before he was due, weighing only four pound, uh, four pound and two ounces. But thankfully, he was happy and healthy due to the natural. Okay, so sometimes when you're filming, you've just got to understand that maybe you're not the most intelligent person. Maybe mixing natural with neutral is a big indication that you're not. Okay, so let's try that again. Due to the natural... <laughs> I've done it again. Due to the nature of their first pregnancy, they decided to hold off on having another child for a couple of years. He said, My wife, my wife, started birth control shortly after giving birth. Uh, to be sure, she had no surprises, but the pill tends to make her very sick. She wanted to lose weight, so she stopped taking it. We thought rubbers would be enough, but that's where the cat comes in. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, so no. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, man. That, I mean, I just envisioned in my head because this is a whole pregnancy story. And they've used, uh, you know, cat made my wife pregnant. And all of a sudden, this little bit, we thought rubbers would be enough. But that's where the cat comes in. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this little generic picture as well of the woman just holding... Holding the pregnancy test. He said, Our cat is an evil genius. I'm serious. <laughs> this voice is fantastic. I'm going to keep this up the whole time. Our cat is an evil genius. I'm sure. Seriously? What the fuck? I can't speak. Oh, no. He said, Our cat is an evil genius. I'm seriously think. <laughs> oh, this is a fantastic line. Oh, that's fantastic. He said, Our cat is an evil genius. I seriously think that greasy orange little shit <laughs> is still smarter than a one year old. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the greasy orange little shit. Uh, he gets into everything. And do I mean everything? Oh, and I do mean everything. Not doors, drawers, or cabinets. Can't stop him. If he knows there's something there, he will find it. Fuck me. This cat's like a mafia baylifter, you know? You can't keep him away if he wants it. Those, if those dreamies are shaking, he's coming rocking. 
It's so bad that for weeks after adopting him, I thought there was a poltergeist in the house because each morning I'd wake up and find every single cabinet door open in the kitchen. <laughs> oh yeah, hang on. We've just got a new cat and all of a sudden every morning there's the cupboard doors are open all, all the time. Yeah, what's more likely? Fucking new cat opening cupboards. All of a sudden, a poltergeist has moved in. Come on now. <laughs> God. Bro, the fact that this has been posted in the mirror. In the mirror. Uh, it's fantastic. He says, so how did I fuck up and let him impregnate my wife? <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, my first fuck up. <laughs> this is in a paper, and this is how he's speaking. Well, my first fuck up was sorting the condom in the same drawers as the Q tips. <laughs> the fuck? What? <laughs> Which he loves to get into and shred apart. He must have seen the box of Q-tips in the drawer when I put my rubber on. Uh, when I put my rubbers away, sorry. Because not even an hour later, I stumbled upon a horrific scene of chewed plastic straws, shredded cotton fluff, a skinny. <laughs> oh, it's sketch shiny not skinny <laughs> might be who knows uh, a shiny gold condom wrapper shredded around <laughs> oh gaping around the drawer that once contained them oh this is fantastic I can't I can't <laughs> okay let's carry on yeah this is a fantastic story, so fucking <laughs> good. I, you know what's going to happen, you just know it. Um, he cleared up the destroyed Q-tips and put the condom back into the drawer, thinking nothing of it. He ended up having some... <laughs> this is a professional writer that's probably gone to university, and their phrasing on terminology is... We ended up having some sexy time <laughs> later that night. And I vividly remember stumbling into the dark box. Bro, I don't want to know what actually happened this night. Or do I? I mean, nah, probably not. Uh, I started stumbling into the dark bathroom, opening the said drawer, and blindly thumbling around the box to pull out a condom. At least he, at least he put on a condom, not a pool cue tip. I ran over to the bathroom drawer where I kept the condoms, dumped the box over, and started looking at all the little four squares. That's basically what it says. I've just scrambled through that. Sure enough, several had noticeable, not noticeable scratches, teeth marks, and... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, okay, so he says here, sure enough, several of them had noticeable scratches, teeth marks, and even had full-blown punctures in them, which led me to... Which leads me fuck up number two. So he's saying both his kids are fuck ups. That's not very nice, is it? Not checking to see if the cat had chewed any of my rubbers weeks before when he'd gotten into the drawer. But although the pregnancy was complete shock, it concluded his Reddit post by saying, Can't wait to explain to my new son or daughter one day that they were 